Hey everybody, it's Charles, your hobby hero, and today we've got another CGC unboxing for you. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the bottom corner. I do appreciate it. Put out regular content about the hobbies that I love the most. Now, this is a 25 book modern pre screen, all set to 9.8. So if the book is graded, it will be a 9.8. So I will not hide the grade for you. All books in this submission were clean and pressed by myself. And if you like cleaning and pressing videos, make sure you check out some of the other videos on the channel as well. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to the box. Uh, now, as I said, these are all pre-screen 9.8. If you are not familiar with what a pre-screen is, it's basically when you send the books, you tell CGC a certain grade that you want for that submission. And if the books do not make that grade, they will not grade it. They charge a reject fee, which I think is still $8 if it hasn't been increased recently, and send your, back to you, your book back to you raw. I did see that we do have a raw book inside package in there, so some of these got rejected, and we'll take a look at those at the very end of the video. So first book up is, okay, one of the few DC books that you'll see here on the channel. Nothing against DC, just not a ton of value if you're looking to resell uh, DC. Uh, this is a book that personally I've really looked for. You find them very easily. It's not a rare book. It is hard to find them in 9-8 condition. This is the first appearance of Doomsday. This is the first print. Uh, I think went to like five printings on these uh, and some of the lower or later print runs are actually worth a little bit more than the first print just due to the scarcity of those prints i think there's like 2000 9.8s of this book on the census uh, still a great book i'll look for a lot of times in uh, back issue bins because they're fairly inexpensive to buy and in a 9.8 go for a decent premium so dc books are on the channel all right next book up Got okay, Mary Jane and Black Cat. Big fan of the covers of the series. If you didn't read this book, it's actually pretty humorous if you're a Peter Parker fan. Uh, and the artwork is gorgeous if you're a Mary Jane and Black Cat fan. This is the Tyler Kirkham uh, comic exposure. They have it listed as the Virgin. Uh, it is not the Virgin. Uh, Virgin has no trade dress on it, so I will probably send that back in to get corrected. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep it uh, as it is. I, I said I don't plan on selling uh, this particular book. Uh, there's a few actual covers of this one that I still want to pick up. Big fan of uh, the covers. Big fan of Mary Jane and Black Cat covers in general. Uh, and it's just a great Tyler Kirkham piece of artwork there. Probably be a couple more of that book in this submission. Another old book here we got here. Okay, awesome. So I actually got this book out of a mystery box from Friday's Comics and Collectibles. It was a really crisp copy. Um, a big fan of this book. This is the newsstand version. The direct edition actually has uh, Peter Parker on the cover uh, and Peter Parker's family in attendance rather than superhero people. So I do need to get a 9-8 copy of that book as well. Excited to have this one. It's not, again, not a rare book. Harder to find in a 9.8, especially with it being the new stand. Uh, but I've always uh, enjoyed this particular book. Uh, big fan of Peter Parker and Mary Jane. Uh, you know, one of the first Halloweens, me and my wife were together. I went as Spider Man and she went as Mary Jane. So, you know, it's always had an extra sentimental piece for me. I'm glad I have this in a 9.8 now uh, rather than just the, the raw book that was in my collection before. Next one up here. Okay, we've got Han Solo and Chewbacca. This is actually a fairly new book. Uh, yeah, kind of May. This is the one in 25 Noto variant. There's a one in 50 for this book as well that I think Adam Hughes did the cover on. And honestly, I just prefer this cover uh, to the one in 50. Uh, nice uh, Star Wars book. Love the cover. I actually wasn't planning on picking up this book when it released. Uh, and then I saw this cover and I knew I just had to have this particular Noto variant. And I got it in a 9.8, so happy about that. All right, next one up here. All right, let's cover B of uh, Death of Doctor Strange, uh, number one. Uh, this is the first appearance of Lyra Bloodstone. I think I had one of each of the cover uh, in here as well. Uh, minor spec. 
uh, with uh, her sister Elsa being confirmed uh, for the Werewolf by Night series that's coming out this fall. Uh, character, like I said, Disney's known for putting new characters and introducing them into their project uh, rather than trying to recycle old characters. Hint, hint, DC. Um, so that might be something that could be coming out here soon. Again, it was brand new book, so not a huge investment to have uh, and to hold on to for a little bit. Okay, there's the Adam Hughes, uh, Mary Jane and Black Cat Beyond number one. This is a one in 50, I believe, uh, on this one. I was a little worried um, that this one wasn't going to get a 9.8. It was the only copy my local game shop got. Uh, but the uh, bindery wear on the corners uh, was a little more extreme than I would have liked. Uh, but happy it came back in, that 9.8. Just a great Adam Hughes cover. And then, obviously, Black Cat using MJ's famous line of uh, at the doorway. So, like that one. Like I said, there'd be more covers of this one in here. I'm sure there's a cover A in here somewhere, too. Uh, oh, no stranger to this book if you watch the channel. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic, number one. This is the cover A. Uh, again, another book I'm very heavily specking on. Um, honestly, I just like the book. I like the characters. I like the story. I do not doubt that eventually that Disney will get to uh, the Old Republic and the High Republic storylines. And this book just has so many first appearances in it. Uh, great covers. And I'm probably in the neighborhood of like 20-ish copies of that book in a 9.8. So just a great book to have. I, I won't be unhappy uh, to hold on to them either. Okay, so Invincible Returns, 9.8, awesome. Uh, this book is, I think, probably one of the biggest sleepers uh, in the Invincible series. And I'll tell you why. The first appearance of Thrag is in this particular book. Thrag is the main villain of the Invincible series, and we have not seen him. It has not been teased at all in the series, and he may not even show up to the very, very end of Season 2 as just a kind of cameo appearance, just to, to wet the palate. But we have not even seen this guy. This book is not in the regular Invincible line, um, as it was a one-shot uh, Invincible Returns whenever he came like, back into his old costume. Uh, there is a second print of this book where there's like five 9.8 copies on the census. I own two of those 9.8 copies. Uh, and this particular book, there's not a ton of them on the census either. So uh, definitely a fan of these. If you have these books or if you see these books uh, out and they're affordably priced, I think you can still get a near mint copy for like 20, 30 bucks. Uh, I'd highly recommend picking them up because I think this book is absolutely going to explode. It's There's just not a ton of it out there. Uh, there are some ratio uh, covers of this, but they're insanely expensive. Um, but, you know, if you really want the, the creme de la creme when it comes to your Invincible collection, you, you have those to go for as well. So, awesome book. Glad I've got another one of those in a 9.8. Alright, next book up here. Okay, this is the cover A of the uh, Death of Doctor Strange. Uh, again, just... The regular cover with Elsa on the front there. So I think that's the 1 in 25. Or no, there's a 1 in 10. Uh, that should also be in the submission. Uh, okay, awesome. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 88. Uh, big uh, Spider-Man fan, obviously, if you watch the channel. I uh, really like this character. I, you know, generally when it comes to new villains, they kill them off immediately. This one has stuck around, so I, I think that they really like this villain and they're going to continue to to use her and implement her while the Green Goblin is basically rehabilitated. Uh, so, big fan of this character. Uh, this is the uh, second print? No, this is the Gleason variant um, on this one here. Um, I couldn't remember if they did the second print of this cover, but I think this is a 1 in 10. Um, I'll correct myself down below if I'm wrong on that one, uh, but big fan of this book. I think it's got a lot of upside. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man keys just hold their value more than other books do. Um, I mean, a lot of people get used to kind of the ebbs and flow of new book spec. Amazing Spider-Man generally holds a, a decent premium on theirs, though. Oh, and this is, I love this cover, too. This is the uh, Tyler Kirkham exclusive, the homage to, to 238, where the Hobgoblin's ripping his costume in half. Uh, and you have the Goblin, or Queen Goblin, um, who is ripping the Ben uh, Riley 
uh, Spider-Man costume in half. Love that cover. Saw it when it came out. I was like, I have to have that one. Glad that one came back. And a 9.8 as well. Next one up here. Okay, Black Panther 3. Uh, now, I will be the first one to tell you, I was not a huge fan of this book. Still not a huge fan of this book. But this book sells for a ton and has held value. I came across a ton of copies of these, fortunately, whenever it first came out. Uh, either through mystery boxes that I had picked up or local stores that still had them on the shelves. I uh, sent my best couple copies off to get graded. And I think most of the raw copies I have sold since then. These got in a 9.8 almost all the way up to like 300 bucks. I think 270, 280 dollars in a 9.8. They cooled off a little bit, but they're still holding very strong for a book that came out three months ago in a 9.8. So I've got a couple of these in this submission. Uh, we'll see if all of them came back in that 9.8. Uh, okay, got a second one there. This next one here, same advertisement on the back. So okay, it's the. I think it's cover B on this one. Yeah, you don't see a ton of those out there. Just got this one off the shelf. Worth a little less than the cover A, but still pretty big premium for a brand new book. Uh, next one here. Okay, this is the uh, Spider-Man 88. This is the regular cover A. There are actually a ton of covers for this particular one. Uh, even not ratio ones. Uh, I think there's like a 1 in 25 ratio variant, but it was, it didn't have the go or Queen Goblin on it. I'm just like, how are you going to do a first appearance, first appearance book that you hype up and put a ratio variant cover out and not even have her on the cover? I think there's like a Goblin Grenade on the cover, maybe, if I even remember correctly. Uh, okay, another cover A of that book. You got to keep one for the PC and then one to, you know, if you ever decide to sell. Uh, and then we've got, oh, another one of the um, uh, Gleason variant covers on the character sketch covers. We've got six books left. Six books left. Got, ooh, Hulk number three. So this book cooled off uh, tremendously with the reveal of Titan being less definitive. I think this book's got a lot of upside still to get back. I think at one point in time, these books were going for about 100 to 150 bucks in a 9.8. They're all the way back down to probably like a $60, 9.8. This is the first cameo appearance of Titan. Um, and it's a pretty substantial uh, cameo appearance, uh, providing, they just don't mention his name. You don't find out his name until issue six. Uh, but I do think with, with, with what they're building um, with the Hulk series, I do think that character still has a lot of upside. I've uh, got another Hulk number three. Got another Hulk number three. Oh, this is the one in 25 ratio variant for the Hulk number three. Just a crazy looking cover there. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people don't even seem to know that there is a ratio variant for that cover because I've seen a lot of the 1 in 25s go for a similar uh, price as the regular cover ones go for. Okay, another Black Panther 3. I'm not sure why they weren't all packaged together, but there was another Black Panther 3. I'm not going to be upset that there was another one that got a 9.8. And this is the last graded book before we get into our rejects. And another Black Panther 3. So apparently they wanted to, to split them up there. So what do you got here? We got... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 23. So two rejects. Not too shabby on our rejects. I'll take 23 out of 25. Um, now you might be asking why you do that. Well, some books aren't worth getting graded, not paying the extra premium. Uh, if they aren't going to get that 9.8, other times, sometimes the books are damaged in transit. Sometimes you just miss damage before you send them in. Uh, and there's something that's fixable on the book uh, that greatly would reduce its grade. And you're going to end up either cracking it out or selling it as is. Oh, this is unfortunate. Uh, so our first one is the Web of Spider-Man. Uh, first appearance of Harley Keener, cover B. Uh, another book I'm really big on. I don't think... Disney would go through all the work to implement him like they have into the MCU and into their uh, project at Disney World, uh, Disneyland, sorry. 
Um, I have no idea why this would not be a 9.8, though. Uh, I don't see any spine ticks. There's nothing on the front. Um, I don't see any... Oh, there is a... I don't even know if I get it. Like a super slight bend on that bottom corner there. Uh, let's see if I can get that pressed out. It does break color. However, it doesn't break it much. And if I can get the crease all the way out, it may just look like a touch of color rub. Uh, and I may be able to get back in. We'll have to see. Uh, again, not a hugely expensive book. But again, that's another one too, where like if that had come, come back in and got encapsulated as a 9.4, because of that, like it's, I would have spent a bunch of extra money to make it worth probably less than a near mint copy would go for at that point in time, just because it's so new. The other book, that hurts. Uh, the one in 10 of Lyra and her first cover appearance. Uh, on this one here, let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this one. No. I don't see anything. Corners look good. I don't know. Uh, that might be a resubmission candidate. We'll take a look at it, maybe under there. And if I find anything else on it, I'll throw some notes up for you guys. So. That's our submission. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think these pretty much all got where I thought they were going to be at. Obviously, on modern books, the expectation's a little bit higher. Some PC books in for, here for me. Some spec books in here for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the books that I sent off. And until next time, guys, Hobby Hero, out.